Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Drew. Yay, we're back. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be making you something that I've only made like twice before, but it's come out really good and it's called Cowboy Spaghetti. So let me show you the ingredients. Hold on. Okay, so put this down. We have a can of tomato sauce, a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, I use Tabasco because I love Tabasco sauce, um, some spaghetti, and of course, some bacon. Now, I, I have to um, use some garlic and um, some hamburg, which is the hamburg is still in the fridge. I'll flip this around for a minute. Okay, so the last video I made was blurry, so I have to be careful that this is not blurry. So, um, I'm going to come back in, well, in a couple seconds, and then we're going to start everything. All right. See you then. Bye. Okay, everybody, we are back. I'm going to put my burner on. I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. Just enough. So I can coat the bottom of the pan. Just enough. I'm just gonna make sure it's coated. You have to coat the whole thing, you know. I'm coat it, and we're gonna take a few strips of bacon here, put it in here. Now I know that Andy redid my last vlog keto style, so you know what, Lisa? Should we challenge him again? Yes. Okay. There's the big hard yes from Lisa. Andy, you are now challenged to make this keto style. And I'm sure you can do it because you're pretty good at what you do. <laughs> okay, so I just got to get a Ziploc bag for this bacon. I'll put like five strips in there. The recipe calls for three, but I'm going to put five. Mm -hmm. Just got to make sure this is in there. Hi, Simone from the other room. Hi, Simone. Lisa says hi, Simone. <laughs> from the other room. <laughs> okay. Everybody loves when they hear Lisa talk in the background, so. So Lisa's gonna be in the background giving her two cents. Get it? Two cents? <laughs> Boy, this pasta's for you. Yes, it is. Right, so we gotta do this. Now, this is the beer. And we're gonna use the recipe calls for some beer later, so. This is for you, Mark. Pennies for Vegas, because I know you love the bat. Gordon loves his pasta. Yep. Yeah. Gordon loves his pasta, yeah. So now the start to put this on medium high. So I'm going to go medium and high. I'm just going to toss the bacon on a little bit. Because it's supposed to be crisp, crispy, because the basic bacon is used, basically used as a garnish for the spaghetti and everything. So. I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. Now, what, while this is cooking, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I am going to cut up some garlic. So, one second. One second. Uh, oh, okay, we have some garlic here. I turned it down a little bit. Let it cook. All right, what the hell? Okay, so we're going to bring a couple of cloves. One. And two. It calls for an onion too, but I don't know if I'm going to... I mean, I'll probably do the onion, but... I need to do this first. So while the bacon is cooking at a relatively low temperature, we're going to cut up some garlic. So, okay. So I'm going to get my good old trusty knife. Washed already. <laughs> I washed it already. Okay. So the key to cut garlic, this is what you do when you cut garlic. This is what you do. First of all, you get the leaves off the cutting board. And then you take the heel of the knife and you bang the crap out of it. 
that releases of uh, the flavor of the garlic also makes the garlic skin easy to peel. So I'm going to cut off the end and then slice it up. It's the easiest way to slice garlic so you don't cut yourself. Same thing with the other piece, you know, the knife, bang, see how easy that is? Take the skin and peel it right off, very, very easy. And take it and dice it up. Sometimes the skin does not come off. Yeah. As you can hear the bacon is frying up really good in my pan, even at a low heat. Okay, so there's the, there's the garlic. So I'm going to come back when I have the bacon all browned and drained. And I have to cut up an onion as well. So I'll see you guys then. Alright. No metal spatula this time guys. Because I know how everybody dislikes the metal on metal sound. I'm just going to fry this up really good. It's going to taste really good. Okay. I'll be back in a couple seconds. See ya. Okay everybody we're back. As you can see I have... It's on the bacon. It's sitting on a paper towel to drain out the fat. Now I'm gonna grab the hamburger. Now let's call this for about a pound. And they didn't have any good hamburger at the store today in a pound package. So this is about um, two and three quarters pounds. So I'm just gonna grab like this much and crumble it into the pan. Crumble it as it goes, you know, because you know, it's only a little, I turned the, the heat down, but you're supposed to you drain a little bit of the bacon fat out of the pan, and you leave it out to coat the bottom of the pan. Crumble it up. And you brown it. You know, you know, the recipe calls for you to throw the garlic in later, but you might do that, I don't know yet. That's about a pound of hamburger. Okay. The production of the slotted spatula. No more crazy noises. Just turn it up a little bit. Because we have to brown this hamburger pretty good before we add the other ingredients to it. The bacon is just it's supposed to be crispy, it's supposed to be a garnish. So we just have to do this. See no noise people, nice and quiet. <laughs> Two cent this and Tamara. This is for you guys. I went out and bought this at the dollar store for one dollar. Just for you. So I wouldn't make any noise anymore with the spatula. It's gonna turn it up just a little bit. Now I have a pot over here that I'm gonna boil my spaghetti in. Just gonna wait for it to boil. Just some salted water. Okay, so when I come back and this is all browned up, I am going. To add the rest of my ingredients. It's a very, it, 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 there's a lot of ingredients to this, but it, it, it's fairly simple. Oh, off camera, I diced up some onion. The garlic is underneath that. Two cloves of garlic and maybe half a large onion. In a bowl, ready to go. All right, Lisa, does it smell good in here? Yeah, she's the well done girl. <laughs> As I've learned over the last 13 years. The, the whole, our, our whole apartment smells really 
really good. It smells like bacon big time. Alright guys, I'll be back in a couple seconds. In a little bit, whatever you want to call it, when this is browned up. Okay? See you then. Okay everybody, so the meat is browned. It's all pretty. I drained some of the fat out because all they had was 80% hamburger. So I'm just going to add the onions and the garlic all in here. Run it around and then we're going to we're going to stir it into the meat. Stir it in there. Okay. Okay. That's been stirred in. Now we're going to add a little salt and pepper. Now I discovered something really interesting with the salt and pepper. I don't have to take the caps off. I just go like this. Open it. Comes right out. See that? I just told I didn't do that. What's wrong with you? Cap off. And it falls right out. See that? It just fell off. Damn it. Okay, so this is salt and pepper. Now we add some Worcestershire sauce. Call for two tablespoons. I'm just gonna eyeball it and get this thing off of here. There we go. Just a little bit of Worcestershire. sauce. I like Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Love Tabasco sauce. Okay. So that is done. Stir it up a little bit. Make sure those onions and the garlic and all the flavors are incorporated. I'm still waiting for my water to boil for the macaroni. This, is a very, it, 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 this isn't a very complicated meal to make. There's a lot of ingredients, but it's very easy to make. And it tastes really, really good. It really does. So make sure the hamburger is cooked and the onions are in there. It smells delish. Okay, so I have to uh, do my recipe. <laughs> um, now I gotta add a half a cup of beer. Yay! A bats or pennies. Just gonna eyeball it. Not enough. A little more. Can't have enough beer, right? And stir it up. This is deglazing the pan. That's what the beer is for. And you want to have the you, you can use dark beer if you want, but you can use any beer that you like that you, you know that you think tastes good. It be American beer, Canadian beer, or uh, maybe a stout, or a dark lager. Okay, so the beer is in there, the pan is deglazed. And now I have to cook this for about five minutes. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes. Take a sip, why not? Okay. So we're gonna slide the roasted tomatoes. Water's almost boiling for the spaghetti. Okay. So I'm gonna come back in a couple minutes. Is that one lit? Incorporate, okay? See you then. Bye. See? I got a man bun. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome back. The spaghetti is cooked, so I have to take it off the stove and drain it in the sink. This is heavy. Okay. So that is done. I'm going to rinse it off a little bit because I don't like my pasta very starchy. 
Okay, rinse it off with some cold water. Very steamy in here. Just toss it around. Now the thing is with this, right, you have to add this whole entire pound of pasta to the dish. So I'm going to try. But I don't know if it's going to fit. I have to do my best. It's off the tongs. And add the pasta. It's really, really, see it's already getting full. So I'm just going to put this much. Put the, take the rest out. Because it's just freaking too much. You don't have to make a whole pound of pasta pasta because a whole pound of pasta will feed a gazillion people. <laughs> Literally. Pasta goes a long way. So you can take this and fold it into the, the sauce. Just fold it in there. This has been simmering for about another about 15 minutes since I started cooking the pasta. So I think that's the, a good thing to do is to let it simmer, cover it for a little while. Alright, I'm going to try this with a spoon. This is not working with the spatula. So stir it up. Oh, yeah. Here we go, that's better. Take a look at that. So Gord, from Vegas Best Ideas, this is for you because I know that you love pasta. No, you can do this without the onion or the garlic or however you want. I should have a hat on, and I don't. By the way, God, my hair is driving me nuts. I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> I, Lisa loves it. She likes my hair long. Me? No. Can't stand it. Yes, yeah, she does. She likes it long, people. <laughs> Sorry about the sexual window and those, but like the big banana, no comment. Like the big banana, no comment. And what else was there in the in the other vlog, Lisa? You told me to be quiet. <laughs> I don't remember. Was it like, can I help you take it off or something? No, that was you. <laughs> You got mad at me because I said, like, can I help you take it off? Uh, so I think oh, that, that, yeah, that... Yeah, yeah. The umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The umbrella straw. The umbrella straw. And uh, if you watch our other vlog about Lisa Just a Little Buzz, she goes banana straw instead of banana strawberries. If you watch that vlog, you'll see what I mean. Alright, so the spaghetti has been incorporated into the dish. I think it's been simmering long enough. So I'm going to plate this up and see how it turns out. And I'm going to crumble a couple pieces of bacon on top of the dish. So I'll be back in just one second. Okay, everybody, we're back. I've got myself a plate. And we're going to turn the burner off. And this is the finished product right here. So... Very easy. So again, very, very easy to make. It's not a lot of work at all. Tomorrow, go. You could do this. It's. <laughs> I know you guys. I don't know if you guys cook or not, but I'm sure you do, and I'm sure you know how. You can do it. One hour to Love Island. One hour to Love Island, according to Lisa. Yes, we're addicted to that show. So now we take some bacon and break it up. On top of the ball, this I mean. I mean, you can fry up more bacon if you want. I only fried up five pieces. And the I suspect is going to use turkey bacon for this. That's my guess. I don't know if that's true or not. And he went to culinary school. So he can probably cook around me big time I just learned to cook from watching my parents 
That's how I learned much of my dad and my mom. I love to cook. My mother said that to Lisa when we first started going out. She said, my son loves to cook, let him cook. So she did. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the finished product right here. This is cowboy spaghetti. Whoops, sorry guys. Here it is, cowboy spaghetti. With the bacon crumble on top. Hamburger, onions, garlic, fire roasted tomatoes, and tomato sauce, and beer. The most important ingredient. <laughs> okay, so I'll uh, flip this up for a minute. Forget the counter. Okay. Spaghetti. Okay, everybody, we're back. I got myself a plate. It was turn the turn the burno up, and this is the finished product right here. So. Very easy. It's again very, very easy to make. It's not a lot of work at all. Tomorrow, go. You could do this. It's. <laughs> I know you guys. I don't know if you guys cook or not, but I'm sure you do, and I'm sure you know how. You can do it. One hour to Love Island. One hour to Love Island, according to Lisa. Yes, we're addicted to that show. So now we take some bacon and break it up. On top of the ball, this I mean. I mean, you can fry up more bacon if you want. I only fried up five pieces. And the I suspect is going to use turkey bacon for this. That's my guess. I don't know if that's true or not. And he went to culinary school. So he can probably cook around me big time I just learned to cook from watching my parents that's how I learned much of my dad and my mom I love to cook my mother said that to Lisa when we first started going out she said my son loves to cook let him cook so she did <laughs> okay so here we go this is the finished product right here this is Cowboy spaghetti. Whoops, sorry guys. Here it is. Cowboy spaghetti. With the bacon crumble on top. Hamburger, onions, garlic. Fire roasted tomatoes. And tomato sauce. And beer. The most important ingredient. <laughs> okay, so I'll flip this up for a minute. Forget the counter. Okay. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <coughs> hey, look at my hair. Looks horrible. Okay, everybody, I got a man bun, look. See? I got a man bun. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to eat my food, and then I got to heat up some food for Miss Lisa over here. So, everybody, thank you all for joining me on another cooking adventure. Love you all, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. See ya. Oh, wait a minute. Taste test. Got to do a taste test. Wait a minute. I need a fork. Hold on. I need a fork. Can I have a fork? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Make sure I get... This is really hot. Okay. Um, this is going to be difficult, but I'm going to try. Ready? Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, everybody. Again... Love you all, and thank you so much for joining, for joining me on another cooking adventure. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.